Hi guys, uh, it's Matt again and it's time for another review and this time I'll be reviewing the uh, Nerf Rough Cut 2x4 um, I'm sorry there's no unboxing video for this because it came in a cardboard box uh, just a plain cardboard box um, because I got it used from eBay and I'm very glad I did um, because it, it performs very, very well. It's almost as if it was brand new, but I got a, about a tenth of the cost brand new. Um, it features one tack rail across the top for any kind of scope that you won't need or any other attachment that you won't really need. Uh, maybe a shield if you wanted. Um, there's a sling mount back and one on the handle, as usual, with most uh, uh, blasters they have a handle uh, loop um, it's a pump action dual stage trigger and slam fire um, shotgun uh, to use it you prime the shotgun back push it forwards squeeze the trigger full and it will fire the first two darts if there's one or two darts missing it will fire those two then it will fire the next two in sequence, then the last two. So it doesn't matter as long as there's a dart in a barrel, it will fire from it. And it contains two separate plunger tubes for each side. So there's a smart AR system to run each one. Because if you remove the smart AR system, you've got a useless eight foot range shotgun that is pointless. So, the AR in it is very, very good, and um, considering it was used, it's in absolutely mint condition. I, I, I couldn't have, it, it's almost as if I looked after it, it's, it's in such good condition. Um, so yeah, I'll, um, I did, just for the sake of um, continuity, I uh, went to make it authentica, is that a word? No, more authentic. I've put in some elites that I had in the bin. I don't normally use them, but because it's what it's supposed to come with, I thought I'd uh, give it a few shots at the target and um, I'll show you the different firing modes. Um, if I can do those all in eight shots, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, this will be both barrels. Not bad. Now I'm going to try and stagger it. See, that works. And for the last one, we'll just have a slam fire, which just goes everywhere because it's useless. Don't trust them quite ever. Um, yeah, I much, much prefer taking my time. And line up a shot. It's much simpler. And um, I'll just gather up a couple of these. That'll do for now. Six should be enough. So that's one thing that it has an advantage of over a lot of uh, over magazine blasters is that you can top it off on the fly. Always, if you've got a dump page of ammo, you can always keep topping it off. But I've only got six barrels over. As you can see, the pump mechanism is and it has to be pushed forward, and then. That's both barrels. That one came loose. That's a spring in the hour. But uh, yeah. It's primed, and as you can see, the little orange priming indicator on either side. If I fire one barrel, if I can, the priming indicator's got on this side, as is the dart. 
but the primary indicator is still visible on that side, as is the door. And slam fire, pointless butt bun. So overall, it's actually a really light draw. So young kids will have no problem with it. The grip on it is incredibly comfortable. It's one of the better grips I've, I've ever had on a Nerf, on a Nerf gun, um, on a Nerf blaster. This, the uh, hammer shot and probably the cyclone shock have got my favourite grips on them. Um, but this has got a really nice grip and it, it just flows, it just has that nice smooth flow. And I hate the idea of, of someone mauling this and turning it into a master key or something, it's just, ugh, no. But as, as a standalone shotgun, I can install two new um, springs in there, hopefully the gearing won't be under too much tension, it won't strain the gearing, and it will fire quite well. Um, with upgraded internals, um, but that's the only worry about upgrading the internals is the gearing is plastic and therefore can get damaged. So it could wreck your blaster if you slam fire a lot, or you might have to be a little bit more careful, um, or you get gear slippage or things like that. Um, overall impressions for a first shotgun, I don't think you can go wrong for a first nerf blaster. I don't really think you can go wrong. If I could pick a first Nerf Blaster, it would probably be a Raven, um, but that's just personal choice, um, as is everything in life. Um, so yeah, that is the Nerf Rough Cut 2x4. I have been your host Matt, and if you like the videos and you want to see more and of my upcoming mod videos, um, then hit the like, the subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload one of my latest videos and hopefully it'll be something you enjoy too. Uh, until then, until I see you, well until you see me next or whenever, um, take care of yourselves and each other guys and have fun.